Hey guys, Short Stumpy Engine back again with another custom spotlight video. Today we're going to be looking at my custom Trackmaster Dudley. Let's get into it. He was made using a Trackmaster 2009 Gordon, and I prefer using the earlier Tomy and Hit models since their wheels are removable. So, yeah, you could imagine painting the wheels suck. I had to cut off various parts, including the firebox, funnel, buffers, running board, and the wheel splashers. The new running board piece was made with balsa wood, milliput, and a Henry footplate. The footplate I used came from an old Big City Engine Custom, which has long since been replaced. Cardboard was also used to fill in the gaps from where the wheel splashes were, as well as the extra boiler bands. The front of the running board was changed from a curve to a step one, kind of like Henry's running board. I used a hacksaw to cut away the curve at the front, and then used sandpaper to make it smooth. It's a bit rough in some places, but it's barely noticeable. The buffers on the running board were taken from an old Edward I had lying around. I also used the Tommy Edward smoke box for the funnel and the firebox. The cab lining was also removed to make room for his new number plates. His number was printed onto sticker paper, and a strip of clear packing tape was used as a protective layer. The same process goes for the cab windows, and the BR logos done by Roxy. I took off the Gordon face and re-sculpted it to look like Dudley's cross face, and I've gotta say, this is one of the best faces I've done so far. I initially wanted to do his smirking face, but it just didn't turn out great. Last but not least was the tender. The tender is just the standard Gordon tender, because I was running out of James tenders, and an Edward tender would just look way too dinky behind him. I've already experienced it with my old Big City engine. The buffers on the tender were replaced with the ones from an old Henry footplate, which was used with the running board actually. Then I used cardboard to make the handrails. He's currently missing his lamp, which is something I want to add in the future, but I'm pretty content with it for now. After that he was painted in black, the tender buffer beam was painted in red, and he was given a white running board. And that's pretty much it for my custom Dudley. Huge shout out to Roxy on Twitter for the inspiration and the British Rail stickers. Really appreciated. Go check out their Dudley custom. It even has a fully hand sculpted face. Love this one. But anyway guys, this is Short Stumpy Engine signing out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.